Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and for today's video we are going to be doing a sunscreen review. Now, what sunscreen are we going to be using? If you're interested, please keep watching. <music> hyperpigmentation and I've used a lot of things I've used moisturizers I have used um, serums I've used some acids and even though I used all these good products on my face I still realized that I'm gonna bring down the camera a little bit more yeah. I still realize that despite everything I do I still end up having a very dry face or with hyperpigmentation so Recently, I met a co-worker of mine and she was like, hey, Stephanie, I realized that you kind of have a problem with your skin. I'm like, yeah, I don't have a problem with my skin, but I have a problem specifically with my face. And she was like, oh, do you use sunscreen? I'm like, uh, I don't use sunscreen. I don't think sunscreen is good. It's, it's needed for uh, dark, dark skin girls, you know? that's what i thought so and she was like no stephanie you got it you got it all wrong i am dark skin i've been using sunscreen for a very long time and she went ahead and explained to me the reason or the benefits of using sunscreen so me being very inquisitive i don't just get what people say i also um like doing my research before i go ahead get it before i involve into anything especially when it comes to my skin or whatever especially when it comes to my skin yeah so i decided to go ahead and do some research online and actually did find out a lot of benefit of sunscreen but now i couldn't really get something convincing that was like oh sunscreen is um is beneficial for all skin tone and it's beneficial especially for the dark skin tone um, ladies so what I did was I went to YouTube because believe me guys, YouTube has a lot of resources that we do minimize. So I went to YouTube and I started finding, um, doing some research and I fell on many YouTubes that were owned by doctors, guys. Real doctors. I mean, real doctors, physicians, dermatologists, and black female dermatologists. I was like, wow. I had to subscribe immediately and I started following what they were saying. So in the course of listening to these doctors, I have learned that sunscreens are actually needed for everybody. Whether you're white, whether you're black, whether you're Caucasian, you need sunscreen because it actually protects your skin from UV rays. Because what happens when your skin is exposed to UV rays from the sun, it actually destroys your skin. So whatever product you put on it, it won't seem like you put anything because actually the UV rays is actually having direct contact with your skin and it's causing the products which you put on your skin to have a reaction that will even worsen the condition that you're actually trying to treat. So that's exactly why I was like, I need to include a sunscreen in my skin routine. So. To make things quick and easy for me, I had to go to the closet drugstore and I got a sunscreen which was this, which is actually an SPF 50 plus which I'm going to be showing you guys. But before I get into it, I want to give you two reasons why sunscreens are very important and why you need it in your skin routine. So sunscreen actually minimizes the penetration of UV rays which I said earlier into the skin and it protects the skin from every skin disorders. So, it is very useful. It is very useful and it only helps you, um, it helps um, protect the skin against sun broad spectrum of harmful UV rays. I'm just repeating the same thing actually. So basically that's, that's, that's just the benefit of, of sunscreen. And the sunscreen that I could actually get from the drugstore because I actually wanted to go. One of the things which the doctors kept saying that try to use a sunscreen that is SPF 30 and above. And I fell into this one that was SPF 50 plus and I was like, let me try it. 
<laughs> let me try like i didn't even think about if it's gonna be ashy or if it's gonna give me um um the white cast i didn't even think because first of all i'm not that used to sunscreen so i was just so happy that i found something that was spf 30 plus this one is actually 50 plus and it's for all skin types so i had to read it because on this particular sunscreen it's actually a very common sunscreen made by a very popular band, uh, brand so it is non-comedogenic non-irritating and it is fragrance free so when i heard fragrance free, i was like this is something that i should use because my skin is very um uh, i have very sensitive skin so i don't like things that has any product that has fragrance in it yeah so so if you read at the back of this product it says here that sunscreen helps protect sunburn i used to remember why i was back in africa my friends and i not well, actually i didn't have that problem my friends always complain of sunburn and this is the thing in africa most people don't use sunscreen and that's exactly why most ladies they keep facing this issue with sunburn because we do not use sunscreen maybe right now a lot of african ladies have been exposed and they're using sunscreen but when i was back then in africa those that i was around doing we never you never knew anything about sunscreen i mean like we never knew anything about it so sunscreen actually helps prevent the sunburn i think that's exactly uh, the sunburn is actually from the uv rays so that's a good fact and yeah the direction is to apply liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure so it's an all-day moisturizer it leaves the skin feeling soft and smooth so which one am i going to be using i'm going to be using cetaville it's actually a very um good brand so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and give it a try so wish me luck okay so it says to apply um liberally 15 minutes so you apply well you can use a water resistance it's actually a water resistance sunscreen if swimming you apply the two out okay well this like let me just see you have it okay so let's go ahead and do one face oh okay this actually looks ashy and white and you're supposed to apply this over your products over your face lotion or maybe your face moisturizer maybe it should be enough so i'm actually gonna do one face and see is if this actually um disappears into my skin and or blends into my skin because the last thing i want right now is to have a sunscreen that's gonna look ashy and give me white because i don't know really looking i don't really look like crazy when i go to work okay um i don't know but does does still have like um an ashy feel or you, you still look a little bit white but it's not that terrible i don't think it's that terrible guy so what one of one of my one of my co-workers told me was if i have a sunscreen that actually look ashy or why that leaves a white cast what i should do is i should actually um apply it with um my moisturizer so let me try this side with my moisturizer so i'm gonna apply my moisturizer first on this side and see if that is gonna help take a look that ashy look or the whitish look i don't wanna look like the devil let me know if you see it different because this year i did apply the a moisturizer and i had to um put uh, the sunscreen above it because i wanted to be to take away that white cast and on this side it is just the um the sunscreen that i applied so let me know is it difference is it um does it look um which one which side looks better because i can't really tell let me get closer which side looks better guys maybe i should put more moisturizer here i don't know okay 
if you see the moisturizer it's gonna keep you the white cast if it is ashy it's gonna make you look good so this is the side where we have the moisturizer with the sunscreen and on this side we have just the sunscreen so looking at this it doesn't actually look bad guys i can actually go out with this because it seems to be actually blending in my skin so yeah so I think this is a good product and, I, and I'm going to be using it set up here you can actually get in any Walgreens or any pharmacy yeah I think I'm actually gonna keep this it's actually so guys um you can let me know what you think about this sunscreen in the comment section and um, as a dark skin girl I would definitely recommend that you should use a sunscreen because remember this has been a great change this has actually made a great change in my skin routine that actually protected my skin like all the blemishes that I had all the, the pigmentation that I had have actually reduced like a lot yeah because now when before going out I make sure I use this on my skin I don't go out without my sunscreen there's no way I'd go out and leave my house without my sunscreen so I would definitely recommend that you should use um, a sunscreen and I would definitely also try to use um, different sunscreen because I need to get the right one because I've actually watched a lot of videos where people are because recommending better sunscreen for dark skin ladies so I'm actually gonna try to purchase those and come and tell you what I think about it yeah so let me know what you think this is a side where I didn't, I didn't mix with any moisturizer and this is the side with the moisturizer it actually is actually beginning to look the same to me oh wow so yeah Cetaville is, 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 is actually and this is just $13 at Walgreens $13 at Walgreens so and it's SPF 15 I will always get a sunscreen that is SPF 13 and above the higher the SPF the better <laughs> so Without wasting much of your time, I'm gonna end the video right here. And thank you for watching. If you're able to watch to the end of the video, thank you. And please don't forget to like. Don't forget, don't forget to ask any questions. If you have any questions, ask in the comment section. Don't forget to share, guys. Share. Click on the notification button, guys. I need your support. So I'm not gonna waste much of your time. I'm gonna have to leave here. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye bye.